All right, so this is going to be your midterm um, reference video. I apologize because my voice is a little, it was a little horse has been hoarse for the past few days, so it might sound a little different on the recording. Here, uh, we're going to, the first thing we're going to do is add in our um, image plane. So I mean, I had a front view there just a moment ago. I need to come over here to the left side because I can't get my quad view to show up. My quad view is going to be right here. Click on the quad view there. I can put it in the side view, I can put it in the front view, I can put it in the top view even if I want to. Don't put it in the perspective view. The front view, I will go to View, Image Plane, Import Image. Now I put this onto my desktop because I don't have a folder for this on my um, on my computer. And that was a bad idea because I was downloading a bunch of images for a reason and for some reason it's not it's not um, connecting to my my uh, the correct drive when I'm downloading and so I just kind of threw them on here and I was going to organize them later let me find that for you real quick all right here it is uh, this is a, a lesson in unit organization make sure you have your stuff organized so that'll be that'll be something important for you to understand moving forward I'm going to make this bigger because it is tiny now remember these are this is two centimeters this helmet is two centimeters tall <laughs> it's a very small dwarf make it bigger so that we have something that's it's a little bit more usable. I'm going to move it off of center here so that my um, my model doesn't intersect with the image plane. And then we're going to get started. So the first thing I want to do with this is just create a sphere. There we go. Got a sphere. I'm going to take my sphere and I'm going to change its radius. I'm going to click on the word radius. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to middle click and drag. I like it's something that's about the right dimension for this object be here that should be fine I'm gonna come down here and click and drag on these let's go with 12 that will be a little bit easier to work with I'm gonna to go to faces and I'm just going to delete half of those faces there now with object mode here I'm gonna scale this let's move it down first so it matches up with the bottom of the helmet we'll scale it up there we go and then we will scale it from the center like so and then I'm gonna scale it up again just kinda of get that to be there, go to vertex. I'm going to click and drag over these vertices here, and I'm going to scale them out. I'll click and drag over these into the same, scale them out. Let's turn on X ray. There it is. Uh, we can see through here. I can scale these in to make this pointy, more or less. And I can scale these in to make this even more pointy. Let's uh, not get the top one. Let's only get the. Let's only get this row right here. There we go. Scale that in, and then we can take this and move it up a little bit, maybe. Now this is still a bit wide. Let's move it over off center slightly. That's a little bit wide here up in this area. Let's go to vertex. We will select all these here and scale them in and then press 3. So you can see how when we smooth things out they change and we can then scale this. I don't want to scale. I want to scale it. So I'm going to look here in my front view. I'm going to scale from here because I need to scale on this little square right here. Otherwise it'll become uneven. And there we go. It looks pretty good. So that was the base of the helmet. It's still off a little bit down here. I'm not too worried about that. I mean, you're not going to really... You could try to get it perfect here. And there might be some distortion in the photo. There, it, That does happen. Let me make this bigger so I can more easily get to this here and then have a little bit more finesse over it. Yeah, so that's probably all the, the better we're going to get it. And I don't want to, like... You don't want to do this. This is bad. If you do this, go to Vertex. Or if you do this... I'm going to scale that in, and then I'm going to move this over. That's bad because you have an uneven un helmet now. It's all crooked. You can't really tell that much, but it is crooked there. All right, so just leave that alone. You don't want to mess with that. No, uh, that's that's okay. All right, so everything looks fine here. I do need to add on this thickness down here. This is where, where the uh, metal would have been rolled over so that it's smooth, it's rounded, so that when you're wearing it, you don't scratch yourself or cut yourself on that sharp edge. So to add that in, I'm just going to go to my multi-cut tool. I'll hold down control with that, and then I'm going to click right there to add in that edge. You can double-click that edge and maybe slide it down. Holding shift and control, you can slide. So we will hold shift and control, middle, or not middle click, but just click on this and drag. And then go to face. We're going to click here, shift, double-click, and then I will extrude that. So to do that, we will press R, and then I will scale holding shift. I'm going to hold down shift and click drag right here and there you go now you have that now that got really small and this is these are some of the pitfalls you're going to run into when you're dealing with the 
the smooth mesh preview mode. Let's drag that up a little bit, give that that rim there is a little bit of room to breathe. And then we want to come into here and I will add on a control edge. Let's see, it's very narrow there. So I'm gonna add on that control edge here. And then we'll go object mode three. And then you can see, there you go. Now you have that nice rim on there and it looks pretty good. Now, one thing to be aware of is this will be, see how that kind of dips in, it dips in here. It does not, not kind of, but it totally dips in there. It's hard to tell because of the, the color, the black, but that dips in. It's fine though. It, unless you're gonna be like seeing a detailed view of the inside of this, don't worry about that, right? If you're gonna show the inside of the helmet, then you wanna worry about that. You wanna make this whole thing have thickness. And we would just extrude it. The, we'd click on the extrude button right here. And then we would click and drag it in. And now this whole thing has some thickness here. You might wanna go in and pull out that groove that goes around here, but otherwise this whole thing always have thickness. I'm just gonna do that. I don't wanna do that. I'm not gonna show the inside of my helmet. If I ever want to, I can come in and, and fix the model that way. All right, now uh, let me turn my grid. I don't wanna see that because it's getting in my way. Let's add on this band. This band is kind of like the lower, the next lowest part, this band right here. So to do that, it's pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Come in here, go to face, click here, shift, double click, shift, click here, shift, double click. And then what we're gonna do is we're going to go to the edit mesh menu and we will duplicate right here under the face section, it's duplicate. And then we will click and drag on the blue, pull that out, go to object mode, and there it is. So that's it. You can scale it in maybe, or you just press three here, press three here and see how that lines up. It looks like it's fine, really. The thing with this is we need to have thickness on this. So like I just showed with the uh, helmet base, we're going to extrude this. So we just click on the extrude tool right here, and then we can drag this in a little bit and it's gonna have that thickness on there. Now it's black, right? Go to object mode, click on it. And then we can go to um, the uh, mesh display reverse. Let's click on reverse here. And we have that flipped around now. It's too dull, right? So I'm going to go to my multi-cut tool and I'm going to click and drag right here. Right, not click and drag, but just click holding control, click right there and then press three. And now it's a little bit sharper. I'm gonna press control one to hide everything. So I wanna get on the inside here. We'll go back to the multi-cut tool, click here and we have that. And we'll go three and now it's sharper. And I think that's gonna be good enough. Bring back control one, you can, we can bring back all things that you, that you isolated. You see that band is really, really thick. It goes into the actual helmet there. So we could isolate it again and maybe make it thinner. We don't even need to have these faces on the back here, but we can get rid of these right here, maybe delete. That will just help cut down on memory usage on my model. In Maya, that's a good thing. And then we can bring this back, control one to bring this back. And then we can with my x-ray turned on here, we can kind of see it. Or what we can do is just go turn that off and come into here and then press R and we can scale this out a little bit and then just get it to kind of sit right there. That's not in far enough. It's a little bit, there you go. That's how far we're gonna have to go, okay. Because there was a gap in there. We don't want that gap in showing. All right, great. So now that that's done, let's go ahead and we'll add on. Now this part right here is going to be where it gets a little bit tricky. Adding on these side bands. The side band that goes over this sphere um, so let's see what we got here. I want to, I made it 12. That That's probably a bad idea in this case because we have bands that go over, both, going both ways and we just don't have uh, a good, let's grab these faces. So don't have a good layout because it gets narrower. That's the problem. We wanna add these on there. It's narrower and so that's the problem with it. It's gonna be difficult. So this part right here, we don't need to have these. So we have all these selected here. We can see that band goes right underneath there, that other band. So again, we'll duplicate these. So go to edit mesh and then go down to duplicate, right here, duplicate. And then we can go here and then there's that. So we have those bands. Now, I guess we didn't need to take, say this, these faces up here, we didn't need, to, need those, we can just delete those and then uh, all right, here, I'm gonna come over to here. I'm gonna turn on X-ray so I can see this, right? So then 
from here, I can select and go to vertex. I'm going to select all these vertices. I'm going to press R. I'm going to scale. I'm going to take this blue square into the light blue square. Watch this. Now it's straightened out. Do the same thing on the other side. Blue square into the center, and there you go. Now you have that. Now the whole thing, make it narrower, and then press 3, and it rounds out. Now, the problem with this is now, it, what we're looking at now, is it's in, it's embedded inside of the um, the helmet base. So go to your edges here. We'll select these edges. And then we will pull this out. I'll just pull it out. Press W, move it out. Until I get it all the way out. Out here. You have to bring these in. So bring these in. And I think they're actually, we moved them in too much. Let's move these out a little bit because there is thickness on this. I'm going to extrude this. So let me turn on my, mm, we'll do it like this. So over here, we'll turn on wireframe on shaded. It's right here. It's a little blue box with the white edges. There we go. And I will pull this up. And then I can go to vertex. Go to a vertex. There we go. Make sure you're only on the object you want to have your vertices selected on. So here it needs to be scaled. So it's flat again. So it's flat across there. And then it needs to be lined up. Let's turn on our wireframe so I, you can see that. See? So just press W, hold V. V is in Victor or vertex in this case, and then snap it right to that edge. It'll go right there. So what I did was I clicked on this this arrow and I moved it until that lined up with that edge. Just left click and drag on it. And now let's go ahead and add our thickness in here. Object mode. I'm going to center the pivot, so modify, center pivot. And then I'm going to click on extrude. And we will have some thickness added on here. So there you go. There's that thickness being added on there. Go to object mode and then go to mesh display reverse. And now what I want to do is control one to hide our, I don't need these edges here, here, or the faces, sorry, the faces right there and there. I also don't need the faces over here, here, and here. We'll delete that. Okay, so those are done there. And then what we can do is add on, I'm going to go to, um, we don't actually need these inside of here either. This will make it a little bit sharper. And we'll just delete those. And then what I'll do is I'll go to um, Mesh Tools, and I'm going to go come down to Offset Edge Loop Tool. I will click and drag here, and we will have, oops, uh, I want to stay here. Let's press Control 1 to bring this back. Press 3. Object mode. Turn off my wireframe so I can see. See, you can see that shape there is now more or less finished. Uh, we need to grab this one here and this one here and then pull this out. And then edges. This got a little bit weird. And then we'll have to straighten this out again. We don't have to. It'll be it'll be fine when we, we get done with it. You'll see. But I just I, I get meticulous about this stuff, so bring this in, and then bring that in there. And then what we might want to do is add on. Mm. We're gonna have to grab these vertices over here, and these here, and just pull them out so we get a little bit more lift on that edge. This one here can probably go in, but this one here will have to come out then. Now, it's sharper than I have it in mind. Let's go to there and see. Yeah, it's still got that ridge on there. Okay, that's good. But it's a little bit sharper, so we can. there's a couple of different ways we can handle that. We can add it. We need to add an edge either way. We need to add edge on either way. You can add it here or you can add it on top. I'm adding it on the side. There you go. And then we want to mirror this over, so select it. Go to Mesh and go to Mirror. And then make sure you're going positive and X in this case. My In my case, it might be different on your computer because depending on how you made this, it might be over a different axis. In my case, it's positive X. And I don't know why this is so uneven. Oh, it's probably, did I off, make this off center? No, it's centered. I don't know why this is uneven. It shouldn't be uneven. I centered this, so it should be fine. But for whatever reason, it's off center. Let me turn off X. I don't need that on anymore. So bring these in. We'll tuck them in underneath. 
And then this here, we might need to, yeah, that's what I thought. Need to sharpen this up. So to sharpen it, well, in this case, I don't, yeah, that one's underneath. This one's fine then. We can just leave it there like that. That'll be fine because it's underneath this other band. The other band is going to go on top of it. To create the other band, that's really easy to do. We simply press Control D E and then we rotate it holding J. Hold on the J key, rotate it. And that did not work. Let's undo that. Let's center pivot, modify. Center pivot. And now try holding J again. And there you go. Rotated it 90 degrees. And then we need to pull this one up and maybe sharpen this one here. Go to vertex, yank on it a little bit, and it'll be up higher. There you go. Now it's not quite up high enough, as you can see. It kind of runs into a problem right there. But otherwise, I think it's looking good. A bit higher. Ah. That's why. There you go. See over here, it's fine. So we'll go into the side view here, make sure those are lined up. Move them up there, and then we can maybe move these down here. And we see that that looks like it's pretty good. What's going on? What? Is that? No, it's that one. There you go. Bring that down. Why is that? What is that? I don't delete those. I don't, they don't need to be in there. I don't know what they are. Why those are there. I deleted them. I, maybe I have an extra extrusion here that could be causing problems. That happens. So if it's happened to you, you're not the only one. If you have an extra extrusion, just be aware. One. No, it's because this is too high. It's overlapping stuff. So there you go. We got that band on there. We can make it lower, I think. So I get, like I said, I get meticulous here. Spend all my time messing with this. There you go. Nope. Why it's uneven doesn't make sense to me, but whatever. What we're dealing with, it's something with the base helmet is uneven, and I don't know what I did there to make it uneven exactly. Something's uneven in here. All right. Cool. Okay, so back to my image. All right, so we got the bases, basics of the helmet here already. We want to save that. So make sure you save. And then we want to go on to this other piece here, this nose guard. This one's going to be the most complicated part, actually. If you thought it's been complicated at this point, this is more complicated. So let's go ahead and start in recording.